What's going on everybody? David here from Blooker's Videos and Toys and today we are going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Dino Trackers Strike Attack Atrociraptor and Danger Pack Pyroraptor. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing it like this, one Strike Attack and one Danger Pack. Well, the reason is, is because pretty much these two species have already been released before so these are pretty much repainted and retooled from previous releases that we've gotten so it only makes sense in, in my eyes so uh, but that's 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 why we're doing it like this so but anyways so that being said um as far as these species goes these are pretty new to me as well um as far as my knowledge of these particular species i don't really know very much about these either so um these are all pretty much new to me i didn't really know what these were until uh jurassic world dominion came out um i think the i heard of the pyroraptor but I just didn't really remember it but i i didn't even know what a, an atrociraptor was as well so <laughs> i didn't even know it was real but uh, it was a real thing you know they just uh i think they just originally replaced it because i think they originally wanted the Danonychus to be in the film but i guess they switched it out to to the atrociraptors instead i guess because it sounded cooler i think i don't know <laughs> sometimes i wonder what what they'd be thinking when it comes to their selection of particular species for the, the these films and stuff but anyways um but yeah so the atrociraptor was pretty much discovered in canada and the pyroraptor it was discovered in France, and they both lived in the late Cretaceous period. So, that being said, let's go ahead. Oh, before we do that, uh, as you notice, both of these particular species from this particular line, they have them classified in the forest biome. So, pretty cool, because you can tell just by the colorations of it and stuff. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, take, take these... Uh, uh, I was going to say, let's go ahead and take them out of the packaging and take a closer look at them. Alright, so I got the uh, Triceraptor out of its packaging, and uh, this will be the first time that we've taken a look at the uh, Strike Attack from the Dino Trackers line. So, moving this aside, um, this is pretty much your basic, will be your basic uh, Strike Attack packaging for the Dino Trackers line. And like I said, this is part of the uh, forest biome. And then it has the little down where it tells you to press the button at. And on the back of it, pretty much the same. And then we do have the this and this one. I didn't pick that one up because it's pretty much the same three. Same three. Well, this would be the third iteration of this. If not the fourth, I think. I think there is a legacy collection of that one out of this particular mold. But anyways, this Dilophosaurus has been in this particular mold like two other occasions. And I have the first two. I don't have the legacy collection one. I'm not interested in either getting that one or that one. I already got two of them already. So I'm, I'm pretty satisfied in that area when it comes to that particular mold. Um, these two are the new species. And we'll take a look at them at a later date. But, um, but yeah, this is going to be your standard um, strike attack packaging for the Dino Trackers line. Alright, so, go ahead and bring this fella back in, into fold. And, let's see. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. So, um... This is pretty much the same mold that they use for the uh, uh, Extreme Damage uh, Atrociraptor Tiger. And um, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it, it's pretty much a, a simple repaint, remolded, retooled. And uh, pretty much dipped in this uh, uh, forest green plastic. And then uh, the arms are separate pieces in this light yellowish kind of like uh, mustardy mustard color I don't even say mustard color but um it is a, a lighter yellow you know and um <clears throat> I do like the design that they gave it here on the back they pretty much painted all right here striped it out but they stopped right here as usual um but it's not as ugly as it would be if it was like a 
a paint and then went all the way down there and stopped right there and then that but i do like the fact that they did cut it off at a reasonable point to where it wouldn't be so uh eyesore you know but i do like the pattern of it and um as far as the head goes the head sculpt looks really good the only thing that's different is they added the little green quills on the back of its neck or back of its head should i say um as far as the pattern goes the eyes the eyes look pretty decent on that side and then the eyes look pretty decent look a lot better on that side so um <clears throat> do you like the little dark that that brown like kind of like brown brown paint looks like it's like brown paint right there with a little bit of white here below below it on that side and on this side you can see a little bit better on that side so that's pretty cool so at least they add a little bit of different color so it won't be so greenish yellow you know so that's probably what that color is it's probably greenish yellow a little bit like so but i do like the pattern like i mentioned before so that being said, as far as the articulation goes, uh, here's the tail, go 360, the legs go forwards and backwards, and it does get the hinge at the at the thighs, inner thighs, forwards and backwards. It does get the well, not so much the hinge right there, but it does have a lot of it right there. Pretty much, this will probably get unstuck eventually but then the arms they got the the ball and hinge right there at the arms forwards and backwards and then of course you know you got the hinge at the jaw so that's about as far as that's going to go open right there the teeth look good right there so it doesn't look too bad no sloppiness right there inside the jaw so and then of course here is the skin code so if you need it, there it is. And then there is the button as far as the action feature goes. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of comparisons. Let's go ahead and bring out the original mold that they use for the battle damage. So here is Tiger. So as you can tell, it's pretty much the exact same mold. The only thing that's different is the action feature. And then, of course, you know, you got the the battle damage feature right there. So that's the only difference, you know. It's pretty much the same thing. Can't really do a whole lot with the neck or anything. Because, you know, just tied to the action feature. So, but of course, you know, this one has the neck articulation. So... This is pretty much a, a pretty good mold right there. It's probably most everybody's favorite mold when it comes to these Atrociraptors. And then, as far as another comparison for another Atrociraptor, here is Atrociraptor Red. So, you can tell. It's a little bit, the mold is different than here. Because they use the same mold for Ghost. And then Pantera, he's the one that's crouched. So... Uh, do like that, you know, do like the, the mold, moldings of these two. So, this is probably my two favorite molds out of, out of, uh, out of all four of them. <clears throat> so, they look good. You know, you got Tiger and then you got the generic <laughs> frilled, uh, Trotsraptor along with, uh, Red. So, very neat. So, they all look good together. All right, let's go ahead and take these guys out. And there is human comparisons right there. Looks pretty good. All right, so next up is the uh, the Macaw Danger Pack Pyroraptor. So we've already know that this is pretty much the standard Danger Pack um, packaging. So good to go on that. And, um, so yeah, so this is basically a repaint, um, mold of the Pyroraptor. I believe this was used, uh, let's see, let's see, I think this might be the same mold for the, uh, battle damage. 
one, but we'll see. Uh, no, not quite. This is, I think, this is the same mold that the, the one that came with the uh, uh, Kyla from the Dominion line. <clears throat> but, anyways, so they call it the Macaw uh, Pyroraptor because it pretty much the coloration, same pattern as the Macaw in real life. So I thought that was a pretty unique touch to it and how they did that. So it's different. It's the only reason why I picked it up was because one is different and you know so uh I like these uh pyraptors. You know, you can't have enough of these. There's some things that you can just herd build over and over and over again. Just as long as it's different, you know, different um tooling and stuff that's about the only that's about the only way i would pick up the same species over and over again as long as it has a different tooling to it but this one's got a unique paint scheme but anyways enough me blabbing <laughs> so you could tell that this was pretty much dipped in the uh this blue uh plastic it's light blue plastic and um the legs are different and it's got the yellow paint uh, at the bottom and on the side right there and uh, the arms are different uh, molding as well and uh, that's pretty much it there really isn't a whole lot to this of course you know to the the head sculpt it's gonna be a little different and paint get the little get the black uh, skull right here and then it's got the white around the eyes and, and the jaw, upper jaw, right there on that side as well. And then as far as the pupils go, that looks pretty good there. And that looks pretty good right there. So, got the blue feathering here on the top and on the side here. Um, and then the feathers here on the tail and everything. And you got the feathering along the sides here. So, yeah. It's a little bit, you know, pretty much the same thing, you know, just different paint scheme. So here is the uh, fax app right there if you need it. And then as far as articulation goes, forwards, backwards, pretty much the same. Then forwards and backwards. I just got the uh, the hinge, ball and hinge on the neck there, so you can pull it around. Look side to side, and then of course, you know, you got the jaw right there. So, overall, a very cool little species. All right, all right, so here is a comparison to the extreme damage uh, Pyroraptor. I do have the other one that comes with Kyla, but I haven't reviewed her yet, so I haven't opened her to uh, review that in the Pyroraptor she comes with. So we'll get to that eventually. But yeah, so this is pretty much the same thing as far as the molding goes, you know. This one's a little bit more better sculpted, you know, because it's, it's a little bit more advanced. So, but overall, you know, it's, it's cool to have a different uh, paint scheme and do a comparison now. So, all right, so we'll do some more comparisons. So here is with the human again, there. And then as far as the species go to that, that lived in the same time period, we have the Car Carodontosaurus. Lived in the same time frame. And then, move that there and then as far as another species goes here is the chronosaurus that li also lived in the same time period as well and that is it for the reviews so i hope you all enjoyed this video as much as i did filming it let me know in the comments below what you think of these which one is your favorite of the two? Do you like the uh, quilled Atrociraptor or the Macaw Pyroraptor? And also don't forget, where's the wisdom? Buy what you love and not what you like, because if you buy what you like, you always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.